greeting. I'm Vincent. Thanks for joining me for the sections. Eh? So um, as per expected, eh? so this is the next part of the vulnerability scanner. Uh, we specific talk on the portion of the scanning operations. Eh? Um, and the rest of the item and module you can see from uh, um, here from the different uh, section accordingly. Eh? So uh, let's start it. Eh? Next part of scanning, eh? how to run a scanning operation is the ready call for running any um, automated web vulnerability scanner. For you to launch the scanner, the website need to be licensed already. Uh, we do a quick demonstration by click on the new website scan. Uh, follow the screen, uh, you fill in the name, URL, uh, website group, uh, if any um, technical content, etc. etc. After click save, huh, then you now you can uh, go to the uh, scan section again. Uh, go to the new scan. You can see the uh, website huh, you created and you can create a scan profile. You can specific a uh, scan policy before to uh, other option from the pull-out according to the specific website uh, target that uh, you plan to be scanning with. Uh, you actually have the options uh, to create a new custom scan policy as well. You can create a new scan policy, name the policy, security check, uh, you pick what uh, needed, eh? and how clothing configuration you want. From clothing, eh? um, others sometimes refer this as a web spider behavior options. You can uh, limit the clothing page, uh, maximum signatures, maximum page receiver and uh, other option to fine-tuning the coding accuracy and efficiency. From JavaScript tab, uh, um, you can uh, form report uh, single page application um, SPA uh, to large uh, SPA tab to quickly apply the auto set of the value um, where you can uh, further filter or uh, tuning to the value the uh, you needed in the more faster speed. Uh, from form tab, uh, um, you decided what value you want to put into a form uh, and make sure it tailor for your web application you want to test. Uh. As usual, uh, developer will be expected some uh, um, video to be uh, expected on certain few, uh, so you may need to be uh, ready data this portion uh, to testing for it to uh, validate uh, by the uh, developer form that they expected video. HTTP request sections, uh, you can specific uh, HTTP request parameter like how many concurrent connection uh, type up etc that is um, make sense uh, for the specific web uh, application that uh, you intend to testing uh, as a general rule of thumb the higher the concurrent uh, connection the faster it will be but at the same time it will be in the workload that may be impact on productions uh. go back to the new scan uh, now you got your own create scan policy. Now it's available to be used uh, for the uh, as being one of the policy. Eh? Now let look into a new optimized scan policy. Scan policy optimizer eh? actually from here uh, feature the multiple uh, quick check for you to select from your operating system, 
uh, web server uh, technology, uh, application server platform, uh, database server uh, technology, as well as the web application behavior, uh, resource finder, and you can from here finally name your scan policy. Now let look into the URL rewrite tab. Uh, URL rewrite it will help to make sure the website crawling is um, efficient. Again, you can uh, make use of the URL rewrite mode uh, to apply some reforms uh, setting first. Uh, and then you fine tuning your input menu such as the root part, sub part, uh, block separator, uh, extension, exclusion, etc. etc. Scan time window tab eh? it will allow to define when the scan start, pause, and resume to avoid for big business hour deduction that uh, you create during the scan. Now let's look into the scanning scope. Uh, you can decide the range, uh, such at the path and the below, the whole domain, only the enter URL or exclude certain resources or area of your website. At um, additional website, uh, you can um, add the additional website to be scanned together for this um, specific uh, testing. Um, however, you will note that um, additional website that you specific in here, it do need a license count as well. Important link tab. Eh? Okay, uh, from here, um, you actually have the option to make use of uh, Third party to scan with Sawa, such as from Bob uh, and other, that to be uh, using it to be using for the scanning because, um, as you be aware, that a crawler need to able to detect the page before it can using for the scanner. So, um, by supporting for one range of a third party um, tool or even you can make you of a CSV to import a list of the link page you want to test, right? They're making it possible to be support some of the uh, particular link page that is missing from the uh, crawling uh, configuration you made before, such as some you may only able to detect by using the boxy uh, manner crawling uh, process and so on. From tap for form authentications and perform uh, credential based scanning. Eh? Um, you need to provide a link with the login, um, username and password for use for the credential scanning and testing. You can click login and log out to test with that in section and out of section uh, detections uh, to make sure it's working properly. You can uh, even make use of the JavaScript to create a custom script uh, to auto fill out. For using the API, uh, you can use the custom header to authenticate. For website testing, uh, make use of uh, all auto tool, right? Uh, it is being supported as well. Eh? Um, of course, when the time you want to do those scan, then you make sure that you are defined uh, properly in this part of the sections. Eh? The above um, cover for the main um, section uh, objective, eh? the main sparkle scanning operations. Um, now we turn to the frequent asked question. If you have any, please rise up. Uh, L, you can continue feel free to uh, send over while the info at e-spimcorp.com for us. Uh, we will look into it and come back to you. 
Thank you everyone. So that now we uh, conclude this uh, whole section objective. Eh? Uh, once again, thank for joining us for the sections. And we look forward uh, to uh, have another section with you on the relevant and the uh, related topic on the futures. Thank you.